Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cool Chords. Today I've decided to work on ways to transpose uh, bits that I like from classical pieces and a few other things. So this this one, I guess you could say, um, this phrase comes from the Bach C major prelude. So the first thing you can do is just play that in all keys. There's another a chord that I like from this, which is the A minor with the C in the bass. I've been trying to, you know, make with this pattern, try and go around some different chords. You know, and trying to, trying to be Bach in a way, just come up with your own chord progressions and try and find the best balance between the chords. So if there's a B, B flat there, C, I won't play that because then we don't have an E, so... Just try and work on your balance. Get a get a fragment, get a portion of it, and then practice it. So that was the bark. There's another one from the C minor that I like pra uh, practicing in different keys. from different pieces um, that I like to practice that are good for the finger movement. This one is from Shostakovich Prelude number two. It's just the first bar. And it's like one ba da go 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 You can just transpose that. this to move your fingers really fast and come up with your own uh, chords if you like. I mean, essentially try and be the composer. I 
notice there's four notes in the right hand. One, two, three, four. So it's, it's, it's important when doing this to try and keep the pattern as well. There's another bit from the fugue number two from that same key in A minor, and there is this. Uh, so it's three, and then we do this four chord, five chord. I can do it from here so the camera can see. And I guess you can try that in all keys. It's a great way of, you know, identifying the notes in a key as well, in a diatonic key. Etc. So just trying to come up, and then you have a greater a chance of seeing what the composer was seeing if you try and explore different positions, different ways to play these small fragments. And looking at small fragments is also a, a great way to go small and then try and expand the, the small, and it's a great way to. And you can truly try and go faster if you do the same one. Yeah, etc. That comes from this. Great little fugue. Okay, some more kind of more romantic phrases that we can try and uh, transpose and look at. This one's from Chopin's 12 Etudes, Etude in A flat major, Opus 25, number one, to Madame de Countess d'Agult. And uh, this one is root five, root one, three, that's the left hand. This is five, one, three, five. its own difficulties. This one is going to have to work out the fingers. And it's, it's by doing this that you realise why the composer might have chosen this key. Maybe it is actually the, the easiest key to play this particular phrase. Is it easier than 
conceive. Yeah, maybe it is just to get just in terms of hand position. So that's Chopin. You can choose other Chopin etches as well uh, if you like. So, yeah, really exploring some of these fragments of these uh, pieces or any pieces you want to try. And going small, just picking one bar or one phrase and learning from that phrase, transpose it. Maybe you can learn a thing or two theoretically as well compositionally so thanks for watching cool chords